Uh, the first thing I'd like to, to do is just walk you through, uh, uh, quickly walk you through the, the interface for Photoshop because if you've never opened Photoshop before, it, it can be a little daunting. If you've never used Photoshop, there's a lot of icons, a lot of menus. Just to give you a quick run through, of course, uh, at the top here we have the, uh, the menu just like any other Windows and Mac application where you find a lot of familiar commands, you know, new, uh, creating a new image, opening an image, a lot of other things in the image menu that we'll be covering later. On the left, you've got your primary tools. Let's see. So some of the ones that we're covering today, we've got the Move tool. We may use the Marquee, which is a, a, the ability to select the entire image or part of an image. And the rest of that, uh, I would recommend if you're really interested in learning more of these tools, we have a, uh, there's a, a webinar that I hosted previously that was all about the, the more intermediate level of Photoshop where we get into a lot, of, a lot of the tools for adjusting the finer points of your image. But today we'll be doing a little bit more broad manipulation. So tools on the left, whenever you select a tool on the left, for example, I've just chosen the crop tool, you'll get options up at the top. Uh, you'll you can, for example, with the crop tool, you can specify the width, uh, which is right here, this 127 pixel, the height, which is the uh, 75 pixel, and the resolution, which is the 72 pixel. So these are, this is always your chance to fine tune it before you apply it. So, and then once you've chosen your tool and you've selected your options, you can also have the opportunity to fine tune it even more on the right side here. We've got our panels. So once you've chosen, for example, you, you've got your image open, you've got options on the right as well for manipulating text, for example, with the character panel, the, the paragraph panel, all of these give you the, the, the granular control that you want in Photoshop that you might not have in other image editing applications. 